after we close with that. But before we go sure. there, everybody, the new favorite part of the ep- of the show, the episode where we have just a quick takeaway from our guest on a message to her younger self. Jane Kurth is our guest today. Jane, we've done this before. What's another message you'd like to leave for yourself or some young people that are out there that we didn't have access to, perhaps, and it's there now. Go right ahead, please. Okay. Well, even though I'm a baby boomer, I am really enthralled with technology. And my new favorite piece of technology is my aura ring. It's like this, this aura, O-U-R-A, this aura ring will track my sleep, my red, and it gives me a readiness score. And this is the problem. I, I have my Apple watch. But, you know, if you've got an Apple Watch, you get what Chris calls the rings of shame. <laughs> That's your little rings on the end. And if you don't hit them, you feel shame. So he calls them the rings of shame. Well, they never change. If you've had a bad night's sleep, if you're running a low-grade fever, I get body temperature from this. If, I, if you're running a low-grade fever, you should not work out hard that day. If you worked out hard on Monday, you don't want to work out as hard. Recovery is such an important tool in our tool belt. So this aura ring helps keep us on track. Chris, you know Chris, he does things 125%. And there are days he needs to rest. And his his uh, app will tell him that. So I love it. Love, love, love it. If If my younger self had had it, I think I would have had less injuries. I would have slept better because, you know, a lot of young people don't sleep well at all and to right. track it and, and not sleeping well affects your mental fitness. So, so as a complimentary product, because I don't have an Apple watch, it would make me crazy. I just got an iPhone, you know, less yeah. than a year ago, but yeah. I, I, I can't, there's just no way that I could do the watch, but so it is the aura ring is kind of a complimentary tool in your toolbox with absolutely I got gotcha. you. Yeah. And there's a similar product called the Whoop, W H O O P, but it's also a band that you wear. And I don't like to sleep with um, a watch or something on my wrist. So that's why I got the ring. The Whoop band also now measures strain. So if you're doing weightlifting, it will measure that. So um, they're both great recovery rest products this is so see this is the whole thing is so fascinating to me everybody and i love sharing these new ideas part of why we do the radio program is because i continue to learn about all of this and share that knowledge with you because it's coming i mean every six months there's something new so again how do you know what you're getting or what you're thinking about spending money on because we've got this finite bucket of money and so it's like, okay, yeah. well, you just spent $500 on a hitting, hitting courses for your 10 year old or your 12 year old or your high schooler or whatever. So you got to really watch your money again, fit fix. Now is a good spot to start with some coursework and the box gyms are fine. And they, they, they will give you the, the facility, the boutique, the, the, the boutique gyms like Justin's and the blue zone communities. I want to weave in Jane, the, because the training at home is fine, but it's the social aspect of fitness and you're a big group fitness person. You just talked about yeah. your and that kind of stuff, but this group fitness where it's a very small group, this is the trend of the future. It, once yeah. you graduate from the box gyms, you're going to wind up in a situation where, or you want to be in a situation where you have small group fitness, like Jane was talking about. Right. Because Jane, finish the thought on that. The reason you want small group fitness is? Well, because you get, maybe you can't afford the one-on-one, but you can afford the small group. So that that's number one for a lot of people. But even in that small group, like I said, in the Pilates class I take with the physical therapist, there are only six people in there. Her eyes are on us the whole time. Whereas if you've got 20 people in class, it's kind of hard to monitor what they're doing. And if you're one-on-one, you can monitor it, but a lot of people think they can't afford it. 